Hi Sagittarius, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing fantastic today. So let's hop in, Saggy. Let's see what's going on in your energy. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you guys so much for your love, your support, your donations, and your um your super thanks. Okay, I'm sending that love right back to you all tenfold. Okay. So let's see what's going on. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses. Please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm. Sagi and their loved ones, me and my loved ones, return it back to the sender. <laughs> Block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages for my Sagis. And protect me as I channel the messages for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, who getting on your nerves? <laughs> Somebody get on your nerves because I'm already turning my face up like, bro. I feel like somebody's annoying, but let's just see. Let's see. What's going on for Sagittarius? So we have sitting on a pedestal, too perfect to fail, blocking finances, inability to see the bigger picture, Ponzi scheme, too big, it's going to fail. Poetic justice, retribution. Bottom of the deck is moved on. Distance does not make the heart grow fonder, period. And follows the crowd. So I feel like, yeah, this is why you're moving on <clears throat> from somebody. Because somebody's a follower. I was getting this. Like, I don't know if somebody's delusional or what the fuck their problem is. But <clears throat> somebody is so slow that they don't understand that what they're doing to you is not the right thing to be doing to you. This is why they don't have any fucking money, okay? I feel like somebody is trying to block your finances, but instead they're blocking their own, they fucking up their own life. <laughs> they feel like with retribution here, they feel like you should be punished for something or something like that, but it's clearly not your fault because I feel like you're doing fine. Two, three, two on the timer, two, three, four. I feel like, yeah, celebrating quietly. Like, you're, you're minding your business. You're having a good time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, canceled, no longer existing. You don't give a fuck about somebody. I feel like somebody here just keep on bothering you. Like, they keep on bothering you, and then they keep on trying to come up with all these little schemes and plans and shit that always fail because I feel like they're trying to make you look like the bad guy in the situation and you ain't did nothing to this person. Somebody needs to just let it go. Somebody has uh, some shit to prove to somebody that, I don't know, man. Let's see though. Sitting on a pedestal, too perfect to fail. It's like somebody is trying to get validation from someone else. Okay, or they put you on some sort of pedestal here and they need to take you off of it because you're human, you make mistakes too. Yeah, and I just saw it in the reverse, two of wands reverse. Somebody is wanderless, they're lost, they don't know what to do with their life, they're a follower. They don't really understand that this is why nothing is going right, right for them. And it's like, well, bitch, you wrong. How the fuck you don't see that? Somebody here needs to grow the fuck up. <clears throat> they need to grow up. Somebody's a little ass boy or a little ass girl. They don't have a mind of their own. And then wonder why they don't have shit. Listening to the wrong people. You had a full reverse Aquarius child. That reading got on my nerves so bad. <laughs> like, I don't know. Go watch Aquarius. That reading got on my nerves, man. Real bad. But so let's see. What's sitting on the pedestal? For some of you, you could be being a perfectionist about something. You're blocking your own finances. So just be mindful of that. But what's sitting on the pedestal? Six of Pentacles. <clears throat> I feel like somebody feels like they need to humble you, or you're 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 too up on too much on your high horse. You need to be brought down a notch. Somebody here is very. They're not empathetic or sympathetic at all, because this person feels like you're too perfect, or you're too this, you too that. But this person don't know what you went through to get to where you are at today 
but I feel like they feel like they know you so much that it's like, oh, well, you didn't go through much or, you know, I don't really believe that you felt this way when you went through that harsh or harsh thing or you dealt with this trauma or whatever. Like somebody is just like trying to, somebody is just really, I don't know. I don't know. It's like it's like they feel like whatever you went through ain't as big as what they went through. So you shouldn't you shouldn't be hurt or you shouldn't feel nothing or they can take from you without you, you know what I'm saying, worrying too much about it. It's like, bitch, no. Where's the respect? Somebody here don't got no morals. They don't have no morals, no values, no ethic code. They don't fucking they're not empathetic to nobody else. All they care about is in fucking sales. Somebody's delusional because they feel like they're not a problem. And they are a big one. That's why the energy getting on my nerves. <clears throat> so we got Taurus Moon here with the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like you're in a position of power and authority. Somebody here could need your help or they need something. Six of Pentacles is sharing. Okay, maybe that's why you should... Okay, sorry about my nails too, Sagittarius. Right, I'm in the process of taking these hoes off. I need to give my nails a break, honey. So they might be looking crazy for a minute, but... um, I feel like somebody's under, under the supervision of someone else that is very overly critical, very judgmental. Okay, that's what I was getting. Go watch Aquarius' reading. I was Because I saw... I'm thinking about this Queen of Swords in reverse ass hoe that got on my nerves. They're very overly critical. I feel like somebody is broke and they need money and they're going to that person to get money. And so they have to listen to what that person say. Somebody don't got no backbone. That's what's pissing me off. Somebody keep listening to their raggedy ass mama or their baby mama or their daddy or whoever this is. Somebody in their family, their ex. I don't know what is going on, but that's what it's giving me. I'm bouncing. It feels like I'm bouncing off Aquarius's read. I don't know if you have Aquarius in your chart or what this is, but let's see. So, I mean, this could show up in a different way, but I'm I'm definitely getting that vibe. What's, what's sitting on a pedestal with six pentacles? Okay, so good. We have the Knight of Swords upright. So somebody here is a leader. <clears throat> this could be you. Somebody could be having could be trying to have all their ducks in a row before they come towards you. But the Knight of Swords here, there could be some sort of big changes that's coming in with somebody's finances or um, there could be like help coming in, generosity, sharing. This could be you sharing your gifts here. You could be, you could give back to the community. You could have a gift that you want to share with the community. You, you, I was going to say you could be a healer. Somebody here could be a Reiki healer. But whatever you put your hands on right now would definitely turn to gold here. I feel like you help a lot of people. Or something. Knight of Swords. Somebody could be coming in to give you a gift. Or. I don't know. But you're focused. And you're motivated to do something. What's the Six of Pentacles? The Strength card. Period. Yeah. So this is like. Overcoming obstacles. Um. Building your confidence, having confidence here, having a high self esteem. You have the sun, okay. Period. Leo energy with six pentacles with the strength card. Yeah, the page of wands reversed. <clears throat> so I feel like somebody is throwing the tantrum whenever somebody doesn't get something or something doesn't go their way, they act out. Page of Wands in reverse is somebody that um is very something is very predictable. Four zero four on the clock, you guys could be saying. So something is very predictable here with the page of wands in the reverse. This could be somebody too that needs a lot of inner child healing. Okay. Someone that likes drama. They're messy, they're loud. What's this page of wands reverse? Page of Cups reverse. Somebody's childish. So I feel like you took your power back from whoever the fuck this is. Somebody's like really childish. They whine a lot. When they don't get their way, they just act out. This person has some deep, deep rooted insecurities. Okay. Somebody, 
doesn't like not being in, in control. They don't like the fact that you're in control or you have more power over them or you have more money than them or something like that. They're very jealous, very envious, very insecure. And a lot of, um, this person could have suffered from some sort of child abuse. Page of Wands reverse, Page of Cups reverse. Somebody is obsessed with like how they look to other people. They could be obsessed with their looks, very superficial. What's the Page of Wands reverse, Page of Cups reverse? The Tower, okay. So somebody also is getting a lot of bad news too. There's a lot of chaos and, and shit going on over there, whatever that is. <laughs> So there's a tower. I feel like somebody's crying wolf or playing victim or something like that. But something is being exposed about someone that I feel like they really can't even hide, to be honest. Yeah, for some of you, somebody's getting ready to be homeless or there's some sort of big family secret that could be coming out or something like that. And I just feel like this is going to be like explosive here. tower the six of cups in the reverse whoever this is scorpio energy what's the tower with the six of cups reverse something the hierophant somebody getting ready to learn some sort of lesson ain't they <laughs> taurus here with the hierophant <clears throat> So I feel like the Hierophant talks about someone that's a teacher, a leader, someone that has a lot of wisdom and knowledge, very smart. You could be very spiritual here with the high priest. I, I feel like the Hierophant is a high priest. Okay, but it could be a woman too. You could be a spiritualist um, or whatever, a shaman, a teacher, a guide. Okay, a healer. So I feel like you you let something go from your past. You've you've grown up here. You're leaving the nest. Okay. This could be you completing some sort of counseling or therapy as well. Something is causing a tower. The fact that you've let something go. It's causing chaos or some mess somewhere. And now somebody somebody else is like something about somebody else is coming out. And they don't, they don't want us to come out. Yeah, the Five of Souls reverse and the Death card. Somebody's being publicly humiliated or they feel embarrassed or ashamed or they feel defeated. The Five of Souls reverse with the Death card. Something is coming to an end, just period. Mm, child, please. What's the Knight of Swords? The Knight of Wands. What's the Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands? Yeah, the five of wands. If somebody here wants to fight or they feel like something is a competition, I feel like you've broken free. You're getting ready to take a risk to do something else with your time and your life. Just period. So I feel like you're going after something that you desire. This could be like, it's. I feel like you're doing something that's new. This could be spontaneous. You're doing something just out of the blue or something is shocking somebody because you, you're you not paying attention to them and they're acting out. I feel like somebody's being loud or throwing tantrums or, um, I don't know. They're just showing their ass. And I feel like somebody's just mad. Oh, well, what's blocking finances? Six of Wands in the reverse. So what could be blocking somebody's finances is the fact that they're around the wrong fucking crowd of people. These are clout chasing assholes or these clout chasers or this smear campaign is trying to block your finances. What's blocking finances and inability to see the bigger picture? Somebody is focused on the wrong shit. Somebody needs to get their priorities together. Yeah, the two of cups in the reverse. So there's a smear campaign here, whatever. Because this person is holding on to a relationship. They don't want to heal. They don't want to let something go. Some of y'all could have been broken up with this person. Or it's just shit is finally coming to a head now in this situation. But two of cups in the reverse. 
somebody's with the wrong person too. Somebody could be in the wrong relationship. Somebody's with someone where there's incompatibilities. Someone is not truly happy. They don't see eye to eye. There's a lot of fighting and shit going on here. I feel like somebody has gotten with someone just for clout and fame or just to get on your fucking nerves. Okay. They blocking their own fucking blessings and finances trying to show off in a situation that they don't even like being in. So they, they so busy focused on you and focused on your life that they don't even see that they're doing shit that's blocking their own life. They're trying to find somebody to blame here so they can keep running around doing whatever the fuck they're doing. They're trying to find somebody to blame for their problems. Yeah, King of Pentacles reverse. Look at that stupid ass. Queen of Pentacles reverse. King of Pentacles reverse. Queen of Swords reverse. This, like I said, go watch Aquarius' reading, bro. You see me shuffle the fuck out these cards. I do like to mix and flip my cards and shit like that because that's how I read. So I can get everything. I see everything when my cards is in the reverse. But this is a karmic couple here getting bad advice from somebody's mama. This queen of swords is somebody's old ass, bitter ass mother. Somebody that's raggedy as fuck. They probably got marital problems or they probably are fucking either they're a widow or they're divorced. This is somebody here that's overly critical. Very, very judgmental, like I said. Like, what the fuck? You getting advice from somebody that's a bitter hoe. That's that okay. So, what the fuck is this? Six of Wands in the reverse, four eleven on the clock. The devil, Capricorn. You could be on the cusp here, Sagittarius. <clears throat> what six of Wands reverse with the devil? For some of you, this person is in some sort of cult. This mother, or they have a cult like mentality. Something wrong with the bitch, period. But. So the world here with the devil, so somebody's obsessed with something that you're doing online. For some of you, this is you online or somebody's obsessed with the fact that you're whole, you're complete, you're happy, you're traveling, you're living your life. Like somebody's obsessed with you. So they just sat up here and got a whole bunch of clout chasing ass motherfuckers. I like drama. They're messy as fuck. Okay. This is just... <laughs> They're competing with somebody that's supposed to be coming into your life too. Somebody's like still obsessed with you and they're in a relationship they don't want to be in, getting advice from their raggedy ass mother. Somebody here just really don't have a mind of their own. They really don't. And it's really embarrassing for you to be a grown bitch and you don't have a mind of your fucking own. And then you're mad when somebody walk away from you. The only bitch that will tolerate you is the bitch that you sitting up there that you don't fucking like or you don't want to be with. Any woman or man that challenges this bitch to grow, they don't like them. They feel like, oh, well, you're better. I feel like, bitch, well, maybe that is the truth. Yeah, the emperor in the fucking reverse. This person is just pathetic. What's the, what's the devil? The hermit here and the three of pentacles here. <laughs> Virgo, we got Capricorn, Mars. Justice in the reverse. The lovers in the reverse. <laughs> I feel like your ancestors and your spirit guides are really hovering around you right now here. Okay. Some of you guys could be doing shadow work here. You're studying, you're researching something. Some of y'all could be studying demonology. Okay, to see what's going on here. These people, they're demonic, but I feel like if you, you're into philosophy, that could be, that's your energy. Sagittarius, you're into higher learning. Religious stuff. You could be a theologist or you, you a psychology major or something. You're a teacher, a guide, a leader. You could be into the occult, esoteric knowledge, things like that. Mythology. So you could be three of pentacles here. You could be getting ready to go into some sort of partnership or collab. Or these people are getting ready for a full moon ritual. Hmm. They're gearing up for a ritual here. So I feel like you need to... Okay, I see what we need to do. I don't know, but let me just get through this first because somebody here playing too fucking much. We we do got, there's a moon right there, the hermit, and we got the three of pentacles. And these people look like they're all doing something, right? It look like they're doing a ritual. So this could be, like I said, th this couple and that queen of swords coming together to do some sort of magic or something like that. Hmm. Cute. <laughs> Interesting. And they can ready to get some bad karma for that shit too with their stupid lame ass. What's this? What's this uh world? 
I feel like you're doing some sort of shadow work though and you're putting in the hard work and you're focused on something. You're very skilled at something that you do too. I feel like you do study a lot or you read a lot. You're a hermit. You got Virgo in your chart, so you like to be by yourself a lot to study. Like, you just like solitude. You like peace and fucking quiet. And that's just period. So you could be studying something or you're going to school or some of you guys are in school. I'm hearing something about an apprenticeship or an externship or something like that. But let's see. What's the world? The lovers came out in the reverse, the ten of cups in the reverse, and the justice in the reverse. Yeah, you done close the cycle out with whoever this is that you got a family with. You have children with this bitch. Yeah, you set yourself free. And look at this jealous asshole. They mad as fuck. I'm so sick of seeing this queen of swords in the reverse. They really just are annoying. Like, for real, you too old to be acting like that, bitch. You really are. Whoever the bitch is. Gemini energy, we got Pisces, Mars, we got Libra. So yeah, somebody here, the, whoever this is, they don't want to take accountability. There's two cards coming out here that, of uh, unaccountability. The lovers reverse and the justice reverse. Somebody here is in a fake ass family dynamic. They're doing something all for looks. Somebody is not truly happy. They don't feel whole. They don't feel complete. They're miserable. I feel like a family secret is coming out or whatever the shit is, is coming out. In the world, something could be coming out online or the world is just representing you feeling whole and complete and happy within yourself. Like, you don't close the cycle out. And it's hurting somebody pride in their ego, I guess. So you're leaving somebody and they trust issues in the past. Because I feel like you don't got time for that shit. You're learning how to trust. You want to trust so you can be in the, in the right relationship. Or you can just live your life in the proper way. Yeah, the four of wands. Like, somebody is stuck in something that they don't want to fucking be in. And I feel like that's not your fucking fault. The reason why their finances is being blocked because every time they get mad or every time they go and listen to whoever the fuck giving them bad advice or whatever the fuck this is, they go and do this fucking spell work, bitch. That's why your finances are blocked. You fucking idiot. Knight of Pentacles reverse. You low IQ having ass motherfucker. <laughs> That's what I feel like is going on here. What's the two of cups in the reverse? Nine of swords reverse, page of Pentacles. So somebody I feel like is extremely stressed out, okay? Like, somebody's extremely stressed out. I feel like they're being haunted by their actions now, okay? They feel remorse or deep regret or something like that. Like, I feel like somebody needs to follow their own heart and their own mind. That's what this person's problem is. And I can't stand a weak-ass person. Like, I just cannot stand that shit, bro. Like, you know something is wrong or you know something is just unfair unjustified you know that you did something wrong you know that there needs to be a conversation or something like that but you insist on following other people listening to what other people say and then when you get fucked up or left out in the cold now you're crying like what are we supposed to do with that information bitch what are we supposed to do with that are we supposed to give a fuck or what what do you keep coming up in the energy for like this I'm, i really want to know yeah king of wands in reverse somebody here that can't lead on their own they can't do shit by themselves like, this person is just a fucking weak-ass hoe. They weak as fuck. Like, <laughs> spiritually, physically, emotionally, every aspect of themselves is weak as fuck. I can't stand a weak-ass, pussy-ass, clown-ass nigga. That shit really gets under my skin, like, bad. And then when you call their ass weak, they, they, they get sassy. Like, bitch, you're a grown-ass man. King of Souls Reverse. Somebody here overly criticizing you and saying nasty shit about you, and you're the empress. It's like, bitch, you need to go talk to your raggedy ass mama or you need to go talk to your whoever the fuck this is. You need to go really maybe go talk to a therapist because maybe talking to your mama ain't worth a damn dime. That's why you're like the way that you are today. Whoever this is, their energy is annoying. Like real bad. So I feel like maybe this could be you, Sagittarius, coming from out of your head about something. You're seeing that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. This could be you getting a pay raise, a promotion or an offer that's coming in. Some of you guys are tarot readers, too. You could be a tarot reader, a spiritualist of some sort, a medium. You you do mad. Maybe you are a practitioner. I don't know. But it's just like, bitch, please. Please, bro. What's the nine of swords reverse? The inability to see the bigger picture. Do you really not see the bigger picture? Uh, what's the nine of swords reverse? <clears throat> The Six of Swords. Yeah, this is you moving on to peaceful and calmer waters. 
you're leaving something in the past behind or whatever this is. And I feel like somebody else is in their head about it. They just letting you move on with your life without fixing shit. Yeah, because they don't have no fucking backbone and they have no common sense. They don't have any fucking common sense here. That This is what they lack. And that's why the shit get on my nerves real bad. <laughs> like maybe everybody ain't born with it but i feel like most people are born with common sense they just don't fucking use it and i just don't like that dumb ass shit i'm sorry that's a pet peeve <laughs> like no common sense is a pet peeve bitch like please use your head please use your fucking head all this person care about it's, it's their conditioning this person is conditioned to believe something and that's their problem they're still sucking their mama's fucking raggedy ass titty and and just i don't know somebody need to grow up they need to grow up you too grown for this bitch what's the page of pentacles okay good now we have the queen of swords upright i'm so happy so yeah i feel like this is this could be you sagittarius <laughs> this could be you that is a tarot reader you could be a tarot reader page of pentacles with the queen of swords upright yeah you could be a tarot reader you're a true speaker you're moving on with your life here you're setting boundaries. You're very clear. You're very smart. You're very intelligent. You know what the fuck going on. You're not stupid, dumb, or slow. And you damn sure don't lack common sense. So I feel like, you know, you could share a lot of your wisdom here with other people. <clears throat> so, yeah. Okay, whatever. What's um Ponzi scheme? Too big is going to fail. So your spirit guides are guiding you somewhere. They definitely are guiding you somewhere. Seven of Wands reverse. We got the Seven of Swords in the reverse. You guys could be saying seven 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 or seventy seven. What's Ponzi scheme reverse with the Seven of Wands reverse? So yeah, somebody don't got no backbone. They burnt the fuck out. They don't stand up for what they believe in. They fall for every fucking thing. That's what I'm saying. This could be somebody here. You could be losing respect for this person. Yeah, the Queen of Wands in the reverse. Somebody here is a bully. They're a bully, lazy, a loser, overbearing, demanding, controlling. Like, they nag a lot. Whoever this is just whines a lot too. So somebody is not like, what? What's the seven of wands in the reverse? Ace of cups reverse, ace of swords in the reverse. The fuck? <clears throat> oh boy. So the ace of cups in reverse, this could actually be a breakup, like, this could be a breakup or this is like a canceled celebration. Something is, is canceled, an event is canceled or um, I don't know, but something definitely failed though. This could be a hostile environment. Somebody's losing respect. They didn't fuck their own reputation up is what I'm getting with this too. For being a jealous losing hoe. So there, these people could be, there's a lot of fighting going on or arguing or whatever this is. If somebody wants to argue because they're miserable as fuck. This is a lot of doom and gloom and just sadness going on like... Maybe somebody here is in the wrong relationship. Obviously, they built a foundation with somebody that they don't even like. So, there's a lot of arguing and shit going on. And you're moving on with your life. The fuck? Hmm. This is Ace of Souls Reverse. Yeah, somebody's in a hostile environment where there's just a lot of fussing and shit going on. Or this is animosity. Um, yeah, Knight of Pentacles reversed with the damn Ten of Wands. This is, they put themselves there, though, because this person, they don't have any common sense, like I said, and they ain't got no backbone. This person don't stand up for themselves. They're a clown and weak as fuck. I can't stand it, bro. I can't. I, I don't know, but what's the Ace of Swords reverse? 4 to 4 on the clock. Libra, Jupiter, what's the Ace of Swords reverse, Four Swords reverse? So, the Eight of Wands. <clears throat> I feel like 
somebody is being told to do some shit to you, and every time they go ahead and do this lame shit, they, they get exposed or something gets even worse for them. It's like, bitch, okay. <laughs> I don't know. So I feel like this is too, somebody's like restless or they're, they're lacking faith or hope. Okay, they're like basically in despair. Somebody forced those in reverse feel like they don't need any counseling, therapy, or help. They just like, whoever this is, they like to argue, fight, bicker. This is just a whole bunch of shit going on right here. This is a mess. <clears throat> Eight of Wands could be sudden changes or somebody's like moving moving on. This could be communication, but I feel like this is you moving forward in a positive direction. You could be coming from out of like isolation. Four of and Reverse is you rejoining the world again and moving forward. Something is moving forward for you. This could also be an awakening here with the Four of Reverse and the Eight of Wands upright. That's like positive energy coming in or you making a positive change. Because you, you're awakening or you see something here. Or this is you finding the mental mental strength to move forward. Like, what's the Ace of Cups reverse? And somebody here, something failed miserably. Or whatever they did. Something, it say Ponzi scheme too big is going to fail. Like, bitch, what's the Ace of Cups in the reverse? Yeah, the Five of Swords reverse. And somebody feels ashamed. They feel humiliated or embarrassed or whatever this is. <laughs> like... Someone feels defeated. They don't like feeling defeated. And they losing respect too. King of Wands in the reverse. King of Swords reverse. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Eight of Cups. It kind of like feels like too, this, this person is starting to gain some sort of understanding about something as well. But it don't mean that they changing either. Like, I don't see them changing. They're still coming up as a fucking liar. Like, bitch, please. There could be a lot of arguing and shit about how this person feels about you. <laughs> like, somebody here still likes you or they still love you or whatever. They don't know what love is, so I'm not going to say that. But they, they still feel like they do. Anyways, if this is their definition of love here, bringing all this drama into your life, causing all this discord and mess, I feel like, you know, that's how they feel. It's a lot of hidden, repressed feelings and emotions here. Child, please. What's the Queen of Wands reverse? Two of Swords. What's the Queen of Wands reverse with the Two of Swords? Yeah, somebody's like stuck in the middle or something. They're choosing between two paths. They don't know whether to, to listen to this nagging ass bitch or come and make something right with you. Or say what they need to say to you. It's like they're stuck in between a rock and a hard place. Or maybe it's this Queen of Wands and the reverse is in denial because they're getting broken up with. And like one or the other. What's Queen of Wands reverse, Two of Swords? Libra Moon. Yeah, look, the Emperor in the reverse. This person, for some of you, you could have children with this person. This Emperor in the reverse, somebody that lacks discipline, structure, stability. They're a half ass daddy or whatever the fuck this is. For some of you, somebody doesn't want to get out that you're not the father of their child and they're embarrassed. I feel like, bitch, well, you shouldn't have fucking been sleeping around. <laughs> the fuck you saying? <sighs> Lord help these people. You know, I really don't got nothing nice to say today, Sagittarius, because I'm sick of seeing this dumbass shit. Not in the mood. Because people do dumb shit, and then they try to shut me up too, throw magic and all this kind of shit because they don't want their businesses to come out. It's like, bitch, get out, of, get out of our energy. Then your business wouldn't come out. So I feel like this emperor... <laughs> Somebody's like stuck. They're at a stalemate. They don't know which path to choose. I feel like this is them trying to choose between you and someone else. Okay, this it's just like, what's the Emperor Reverse doing? Okay, the Nine of Pentacles. What's the Emperor in Reverse doing with the Nine of Pentacles? Three of Cups in the Reverse. Yeah, the Eight of Swords in the Reverse. Excuse me. What's the two of swords again? Give me one of two of swords. Excuse me. Give me one of two of swords. Nine of cups. Give me another one of two of swords. So, okay, yeah. What's the two of swords with the nine of cups? <clears throat> hmm. The sun. I was going to say pregnancy. Somebody here is pregnant. This Queen of Wands, because they're very promiscuous. So this could be about a masculine that's not the father of a child with the emperor in the reverse, is what I'm getting. 
They're not the father of a child. And now this bitch is embarrassed. Now they're ashamed because I feel like they did too much. They didn't build all this shit up, got all these, this smear campaign or whatever the fuck this was right here to try to throw you under the bus, say nasty things about you, possibly divine feminine, and throw this emperor under the bus or just treat them like shit. And it's like, bitch, you over here being a hoe. What the fuck are you saying? Somebody here, this could be a pregnancy announcement. For some of you guys, this is an engagement announcement. You're going towards your wish fulfillment. The sun with the nine of cups too. I'm getting like fame, status, recognition, rewards, accolades, success, abundance, and prosperity. So I feel like this could be where you're headed or something definitely is being exposed. Yeah, the sun with the nine of cups. Somebody's being exposed for being pregnant and they're sitting up here in the two of swords. They don't know who their baby daddy is. But I feel like this emperor know it ain't they ass. Just perish. Somebody's removing themselves. Eight of Swords in reverse. Somebody is like coming out of some sort of restriction, leaving these fake ass family members and friends that knew about what this bitch was up to behind is what I'm getting with this. Nine of Pentacles, I feel like is, this could also be a pregnancy card as well. Three of Cups in the reverse. Somebody's cheating. I feel like somebody's saying, oh, I'm cheating because I'm severely depressed and all this weird, wild shit. Like, bitch, get, get, get on. <laughs> it's like, I cannot deal with that shit, bro. Like, for real. So, I feel like this Queen of Wands in the reverse, they could be losing respect or whatever this is. Or this Emperor in the reverse has lost respect for their ass. But the Nine of Pentacles is self-made. It's a boss. I feel like that's you, Divine Feminine. This person is leaving this third party behind or whatever. I feel like this masculine just thought that they had to take care of a baby. So, that's why they stayed behind. To be honest, I don't even feel like they was with this person. But if they were still fucking around with them sexually or whatever the case may be, you know how it is when you get ready to leave somebody and you pop up pregnant. But this bitch here is not pregnant by this emperor. They were sleeping around with somebody else. Could be this person's friend. Somebody in their family. Weirdo. That's a, some weird shit. Or somebody in this person's family knew about it. Knew about something that was unfair and all kind of dumb ass shit. So now somebody is setting themselves free. Now somebody is stuck in at a stalemate. And I feel like this bitch is still whining or complaining or just still being a loud mouth hoe. It's like, bitch, the audacity. I feel like somebody's true colors is coming out. Their true colors is just, is just showing the fact that they're a loud mouth hoe and they're jealous. They're jealous and they're a lame ass hoe. That's what. So however the situation going, either way, it just sounds like some lame shit here. What's poetic justice? Retribution. The judgment. Yeah, it's judgment day. <laughs> it's judgment day. What's poetic justice? Ret retribution. So I feel like this could be you two being vindicated from something. Maybe you were accused of something that was false and gossiped about and shit like that. I feel like you're being vindicated with the judgment here. What else? This is like apportioning blame too. So everybody's getting fair blame around this bitch. Yeah, the King of Cups in the reverse. The Ace of Wands. For some of you, somebody, okay, if this is about a masculine that is like your baby daddy, the Emperor in the reverse, this person knows that it's dead wrong, like I said. To have these bitch or these bitches sitting up here to satisfy them and they fucked up ego with their raggedy raggedy looking ass i've been ready to say something else but i'm gonna be nice or as nice as i can be right now <laughs> put it that way i feel like this emperor in the reverse like they just a pussy like they don't have any backbone they're they're not a leader because i feel like they know it's dead wrong for them to be sitting up here indulging and gossip about you and things like that about you but they doing it anyway they're doing it anyway like, this person is just, and I feel like they letting this shit go on, too. They just letting it go on. Somebody just, is just, uh, they lame. King of Pentacles reverse. King of Cups in the reverse is somebody that, um... is just ruthless they're mean they're ruthless very much so depressed bitter i feel like they're very bitter 
and they're emo they're very emotionally unaware okay they don't have any consciousness their intuition is blocked they're a gaslighter they're emotionally manipulative but it's judgment here though it, it feels like this person is going through some sort of awakening with the judgment upright they're going through some sort of awakening about their fucked up ways and hopefully they set their ass straight but i don't know four three four on the clock what's judgment The Queen of Cups in the reverse. <laughs> what the fuck? What's judgment with the Queen of Cups reverse, man? The King of Wands reverse. Queen of Wands reverse. What? This could be a common couple here. This would be multiple people talking shit. It's just like a whole lot of shit going on. But I feel like you're being vindicated from something. Like for real. Um, Let me see something real quick. What's this King of Cups reverse? Eight of Pentacles in the Fool. What? I don't know if somebody's like just depressed or what. The King of Cups in Reverse is emotionally emotional unavailability unavailability. I'm trying to figure out if this is a karmic couple. Like, I don't know if this person is going through some sort of awakening when it comes down to this fake-ass relationship or what the fuck this is. King of Wands in the reverse is bitter. Very bitter and they're very competitive. This is a fake-ass karmic couple here. Like, this is a fake-ass karmic couple. I feel like this is you breaking free of this damn King of Cups in the reverse. Maybe these people are looking at you in a different way, in a different light. Or something. Because you're definitely being vindicated from whatever the fuck this is right here that's unfair. This couple could be getting exposed. Or people are seeing this couple a certain way. Because they raggedy. They are both they both hate each other. First of all, they don't even like each other. And they're both in competition with your ass. So I feel like with the Eight of Pentacles, the Fool, this is you. You've broken free from this King of Cups in the reverse. They're with the Queen of Cups in the reverse. And there's a King of Wands here. This is the same bitter ass hoe. King of Wands reverse, Emperor reverse, King of Cups reverse. Like, the Eight of Pentacles is you um doing the inner work. You mastered something about yourself and you've walked away. You, you're going into a new beginning. This is a fresh start for you or whatever this is. I feel like you're focused on your work here. And this King of Cups is still, that's the issue. This King of Cups is still sobbing and whining over you. That's the problem. And so I feel like, yeah, you're being, you're being, your reputation is being cleared. Because I feel like people are seeing now what the real problem is. Is this person, they still pining over you while they with somebody else. That's the issue. Like what? This person is still upset about you moving forward. <laughs> I'm looking like, what the fuck is this? But the judgment is upright. So that's like, I don't know. This could be you going through some sort of awakening. But I feel like this is these people. They getting ready to go through some sort of awakening. Because it's like, why the fuck are they bothering you? see where uh oh, okay here it is <sighs> sorry sage what's this uh what's the five of swords reverse real quick
Low vibes, bad energy, low vibrational person, energy that feels dark, dense and heavy, harboring suffering, fear and anger, broke. <laughs> no money, can't pay bills, scraping up chains to get by and low key. Yeah, this is what they're trying to keep low key. It's coming out though, publicly. They're not going to be able to hide this. Under the radar, not giving yourself away, being to yourself, not causing attention, having receipts and talking good shit here. So you, something about your reputation Somebody is watching you and they're getting receipts on you. They're watching you, your moves and things like that and getting that people are saying good things about you or it's just like, you're good. Ain't nothing wrong with you. Yeah, like what the fuck? What's this emperor in the reverse with that two of swords? Hidden agendas. Pay attention to this person because they have other plans than the ones that they revealed playing games someone doesn't know how to stop playing games messing around immature doesn't want to grow up yeah and dark magic witchcraft someone could be using magic to get their way period it's either that i'm sorry y'all damn it's either that this masculine is doing something or this this queen of wands here that is has started some shit and then been sitting up here lying Them been sitting up here lying about a child that's not theirs. I'm getting that storyline too. What else for this Emperor Reverse? Divorce. Yeah, broken relationship, lost connection, severed ties. Who this Queen of Wands up here in the reverse? Soul contract. You are under a soul contract with someone. Twin flame soul make karmic. Lies being spread, fake news, fake rumors have been going around about you or the situation, all lies, no facts, taking shortcuts, not doing your job well, not fulfilling commitments, lazy, causing more work for others, and burning money. Yeah, burning through cash, can't save, spends money faster than, than they can earn it. So I feel like, yeah, false twin flame. So for some of y'all, I'm leaning more towards, there's a, uh... <clears throat> queen of wands in a reverse asshole that has been i feel like this bitch right here could, could have been halting some sort of like they're not signing the divorce papers somebody could have been separated from someone i got that reading yesterday for pisces somebody could be separated from someone but still legally married this bitch has been trying to hang on to a relationship with this with a divine masculine that's not the father of their fucking child okay and they've been trying to keep this person stuck with witchcraft and magic and shit dark magic They've been having a hidden, a hidden agenda the whole damn time. And now their ass is getting ready to get exposed. What's the nine of cups, son? This could be you in the public eye exposing this. Or this is their ass sitting up here pregnant. Or had a baby and it's not theirs. Or whatever this is. Yeah, hater. Of course. Because you're exposing something, period. Karma. <laughs> Someone is getting karma for the pain that they cause, receiving a dose of their own medicine or vice versa. Good karma could be repaid. Yeah, now somebody want to fight you. They want to fight because I feel like you exposed something. We got hater. Wants to knock you down to size. A person that simply cannot be happy for your success points out your flaws to make themselves feel better. <laughs> so king of cups, queen of cups. What is that? What? I feel like these are people that's in on something or they're looking at you. They're all karmic. Yeah, we got chilling here, being really comfortable in life, not wanting to do the most at ease and at peace with the world. I feel like this is these people watching you. They're seeing that they punished the wrong fucking person. This Queen of Wands over here is a liar. And it's trying to hide something from this damn man. What else for this right here? Snooping. Yeah, always in your business, asking questions about you, looking over your shoulder for deets. Evidence. Exactly. Moocher. Yeah, that somebody's a fucking moocher, they're a loser. Someone who survives off another's income, one who even if they have their own money will use someone else's first and generous in the reverse. <laughs> somebody's a greedy ass hoe. Divine union and bestie. So yeah, some of y'all going into a union with your best friend. Okay, your person, your love match or whatever. This bitch up here is jealous. They did all this shit because they sitting up here broke. And they don't got them, probably whoever the fuck their baby daddy is, the other one, is not taking care of their child. And they need this mask to stick around and help them take care of a child that's not theirs. Yeah, bitch. Your shit needed to come out. 
that shit needed to come out, honey bun. Who the fuck you think you are? And then gonna sit up there and try to hate on somebody that's exposing your, your business, bitch. And it, that's what I'm saying. Like, you bitches, y'all got a lot of skeletons in your closet. You have a lot of skeletons in your closet. And you don't want that shit to come out. But yet and still, you're in somebody else's energy trying to expose some shit about them that they don't even care about being exposed because they live in their truth. That's Y'all bitches need to pipe that shit the fuck down. <laughs> like, you look dumb. for Saggy. We got Hey Thor Light Codes. Light Immersion, Full System Upgrade and Power Recall. Bottom of the deck is Akashic Stargate. Aligned with Purpose, Crossroads, and No Wrong Path. So it says, hey, Thor, also known as het Heru, which means House of Horus, is an Egyptian cow and solar goddess associated with the sky and fertility. Worship of this enigma enigmatic figure goes all the way back to the third millennium BCE. Hey, Thor is easily recognized in Egyptian art, for she often wears a sun disc on her head that is held in place by two horns relating to the cow, sacred symbol of motherhood. She is the divine consort of the hawk-headed deity Horus, allowing her to bridge this world and the cosmic realms and bring in the infinite light of the sun. And that's you. I feel like that's you. Your past life could have been spent a lot around Hathor or Hathor was, you work close to them or something like that. Doesn't Hathor, they do, Hathor is a, a deity representing art and things like that, right? But music, music could be a, a of significance here you could be a musician or you can sing or rap or maybe you have connections with whoever this is you're going into a divine union with through music or something like that but it says in this gateway Hathor is the figurehead of an intergalactic race of beings called the Hathors there's a good chance that the ancient Egyptians were in touch with this divine race as evidenced by the many Hathor pillars at the temple of Dendera Dendera, Dendera? The Hathors appears as elongated pillars of infinite light, illustrating their capacity to bridge heaven and earth. Their divine mission is to activate light upon the earth, earth. Interlinked with both the energy of the central sun and Venus, they bestow solar light blessings and ignite the energy of unconditional love within. When you receive this light card, know they are ushering in great blessings. So it says to connect, visualize a pillar of light descending from the heart of the midnight sky and bathing your body in infinite light. Chant or call... Hey Thor, hey Thor, hey Thor, to draw the Hathorian energy toward you. If there's an aspect of your life that needs light, think of it now. So for your message, it says, this is a light immersion. You are experiencing a full system upgrade. The infinite solar light of the Hathors is surrounding you now. This is a time of expansion and excitement. You are filled with, the, uh, with unlimited potential. The gifts that were once in darkness are now being brought into the light. The parts of yourself that were once hidden are now being seen. Life is being restored. If you have been experiencing sluggishness or tiredness, this is now being washed away. Something ancient has awakened within and you are remembering why you are here. Welcome home to your light, period. Your light is shining hella bright too because now you're being vindicated. People are seeing who the fuck you are. These karmic couples and all this dumb ass shit that this Queen of Wands has sat up here and got to, to, to go against you and to look at you a certain way or whatever they said. I feel like they all look dumb as fuck now. They all look dumb. Somebody here doesn't want to um, take money from someone anymore or pay someone no more to do something. Or they, I feel like they don't want to take money anymore from someone. They didn't burn through money. They didn't took all this masculine's money probably and sent it to this bitch here to do all this magic or to sit up here and lie on you and do some some whole other shit. Like this person here really did a whole bunch of dumb shit, like to keep somebody to keep a man. Like you bitches do the most to keep niggas that don't want you. And that really belongs somewhere else. What a lame. Mm -hmm. Give me a card here for Saggy so I can go. I, I really be disgusted with people, to be honest. 
We have watch a movie, period. Watch a movie. Your mantra is, I am worthy of relaxing. So it says, movies are a beautiful way to escape into fantasy, slip into another culture, or try a different point of view. They can be the perfect indulgence when you need a time out, a perspective shift, a deep belly laugh, or a good cry. Plan a night to watch a movie by yourself and journal about how it makes you feel. <clears throat> Treat yourself to a solo date night at the movie theater. You are worth it. Organize a theme movie night with a loved one or group and step out of reality and into a story together. So for your journal prompt, it says, what is your favorite movie from childhood and how does it make you feel? So what's one of your favorite movies? Leave it in the comments. I think mine's is, I got a couple though. I used to love Parent Trap. I could watch that show over and over again. Mm, Daddy Daycare wasn't too far, like that wasn't too childhoodish. But I I like Daddy Daycare. I like uh Stuart Little. I enjoy Matilda. But that's not like too old, isn't it? That's not too too old. I like Casper the Friendly Ghost. Flintstones, the movie, I enjoyed the movie a lot. I'm trying to think of movies that I watched over and over and over again. <laughs> Cinderella, the movie. I enjoy Cinderella, the movie a lot. With Whitney Houston and Brandy in it. Mm, I can't think of, I'm trying to think back like way, way back, but I can't right now. I don't know. I watch a lot of movies now that talk about the occult, though. Because that's like a passion. Me studying the occult, researching the occult, and things like that. It's probably because my Sagittarius North Node, too, that I like that kind of stuff. And my I got nice house placements everywhere in my chart, too. So, yeah. But, uh, I don't know. Leave in the comments what's your favorite movies. Maybe it can help me go back a little bit further. Because, mm. So this is your reading, Saggy. I hope that this reading gave you some sort of clarity. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you guys won't miss my reads. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.